So what is going on guys? Welcome to today's video. Uh, today's going to be pretty interesting. We're actually going to be swapping out a turbo on the WRX because the current one in there is burning oil. So hopefully with a new TDO4 swap it will uh, fix the problem. We're here with Andrew. He's the one that does all the work. Yeah. And I just pretty much stand back and watch. Yes, he's it. Because I don't know what I'm doing. And he's already going into stuff. I'm gonna try to learn as much as I can, but I probably won't because I don't because I'm an idiot. Yeah, I don't recall information very well. So where even is the new turbo? There it is. Well it's not new, but it's definitely better than the one that's currently in there. It's actually two of them. So hopefully one of them will fix the problem. So hopefully with this swap, uh, everything will go as planned and we will stop burning oil. Uh, it's definitely just annoying to know that your car is burning a lot of oil, especially when you want to just drive it. So hopefully after this turbo swap, it'll be good to go. Take that back, yeah it does. Here in the garage from 1942. <laughs> that, that propane motor does look like 1942 though. Well, isn't that funny? It's a stamped car, or it was, but it still has the stock turbo on it. Is that not ironic? You think stance dudes ever do anything internally? No. Oh, purple piping. You got me. The pipe? Not the pipe. The bolt. Look at that, look at that flex. Thanks, my guy. It'd be a shame if I hit this block off the... Yeah, off the door, you know. I know some people, I know you don't care about your car. You know. I love my car. You just care about, you know, how... I care about my car so much. You care about performance, what a loser. I care about performance so much that I don't stance my car. Hey, I bought it stanced. You love it stanced. I loved it, leave me alone. Stance Nation was lit. You can't even... Talk shit. Well, it's okay. If you get into an accident, you won't have a uh, crash bar, so it's over there. Away. It's over there. Oh, you have it? I do have it. But front mount is Sweet. life, bro. Front mount for your stock TDO4 turbo. Leave me alone. This is like really high in the air. Don't go any higher because uh, you'll do an Andrew. <laughs> One more pump. Barely. No, I stopped there. Let's just stop there. Oh, we're under. We're under, dude. Okay, now you're gonna get your little skinny foot in there. You're gonna find that bolt. You might need a light. Let's see if you want to let me know. And that 14 millimeter gear wrench will fit around the about hitting it down by. Okay, I got boards protecting my life. Wes is looking for a flashlight. I asked him for one. And he hands me this. That is what he hands me. Yeah, you gotta use the monkey arms to get to it. I don't have any monkey arms. I just pay people to do this stuff. Except you, I don't pay you. Yeah, I noticed. No, you, I pay you in love. Like that's a bunch of crap. Is this a dude? <laughs> this bracket is, is it? This bracket is flat. It is flat. Here, let me see this thing. Give me that. Oh my god, it's flat. Come here, camera. Ooh, ah. Let's see. It's, it's flange, you mean? Oh, it is flat. It's legitimately <laughs> flat. Focus. Dude, oh my god, that's hilarious. Oh, well good thing I put that towel down. Kinda of missed it, dude. We're back from Nam. Oh yeah, you know what time it is? It's Joe! Yeah, baby. <laughs> Let's see. Let's do this without damaging the uh 
fantastic because we think of these things and dunk it in the wood. See, Megan down pipes like mine, they actually have clearance issues where it will hit the firewall and you can't do this. Like, it, you have to drop the down pipe. Yeah, we have to take the entire exhaust off and do what we just do. So we roll this now? Hold on, it's, it's actually on the... Um, oh, the studs. The studs, yeah. It's bent, but hopefully it'll be okay. so easy compared to mine. Eh, actually this is the, the worst gasket ever. It's... <laughs> I'm surprised this was even sealing. It doesn't even have the metal ring to seal. Was, I'm impressed because this is... Not even the cheap eBay ones are this bad, but we'll reuse it. That was worth it. <laughs> now there's, there's one we might be able to get it in. Okay. Oh, I think we can. That's for the inlet. It's pretty dark in there. This is for the uh, compressor output. Oops. Pop. No, oh, actually came completely off. Wasn't much slack on that. Here. All right, that is. That's off. Stupid front mounts. With your stock turbo. Hey, you can hose me again, dude. That hose me. <laughs> yeah, that works. Okay, uh, let's put something in here. Oh, it's leaking. She's a leaking. Alright, so it looks like I'm gonna have to use one hand. You want me to hold that? Yeah, how about you put your finger just in front of it like that? Right. Yep, that works. Let me uh, let me zip off this oil line real quick. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, so like four each. I'm trying to imagine. You can imagine how much. Okay, so now that we got the actual turbo out of the car, uh, what is it? We have to check the uh, good PCV valve okay. right here. If you look right here, that sucker basically vents uh, can't crease. Uh, crank case pressure into the inlet, and if that gets stuck open, it might actually be dumping it into the inlet. We were pretty much certain it was a turbo based on the mileage and everything, but um, we stuck a camera down the inlet, and it doesn't seem like there was a whole lot in there, so that's why we were leading towards the turbo. But the turbo looks pretty clean on the uh, compressor side. There's no oil up in here, or really in the uh, inlet side, which is interesting, but. And there's not a lot just sitting in the uh, turbine side, but it is very black and very sooty. It's also the same thing on the up pipe from the engine, so it's definitely being burned. There's oil coming from uh, dripping out of the uh, front mount piping. So that's usually uh, compressor sides leaking on the uh, turbocharger or the PCV. It's usually one or the other. But uh, we're going to take the PCV line off the inlet and uh, see if the valve. You can kind of shake it and you'll hear it click back and forth. So, so see what happens. That's kind of why he's here doing stuff because and not him, not me. <laughs> uh, but that's why I'm learning, right, Andrew? Learn. You're not learning a thing. I actually have my piece of hooked up to a catch can. Oh, I need to get a catch can like ASAP Rocky. I wonder if we put a uh, catch can on this if you had any. Well, don't you use the one from like Harbor Freight? Yeah, you can, instead of buying like a $300 parent one or something, whatever it costs, it's outrageous. You can yeah. go to Harbor Freight and get the one that they use to separate, uh, it's for like air compressors. It's to separate the oil from the air um, in those, and that costs like $7. Those hard to hook up? No, you need to get some uh, plumbing fittings from uh, Lowe's. Basically, they're threaded fittings on one side and they're barbed fittings on the other. The barbed fitting you put the uh, silicone hose up to, and you can actually screw in the uh, threaded side to the Harbor Freight catch, catch can, whatever oh, they yeah, whatever. I think they call it an air oil separator. 
We'll have to do that. Yeah, I actually zip, mine's just zip tied and it's looking yeah, pretty. Yeah, it's hanging right there. Yeah, and it's actually pretty hideous too. They don't look good at all, like the parent ones. You but can paint it. They work really well and they hold a ton of fluid. Well, there's a pro tip. Don't buy parent catch cans. The Harbor Freight ones work fine. Andrew, we should do a video installing one. That'd be pretty sick. We can do that. There are, we need some uh, needle nose. It should be right yeah, up here. These might work. Uh, this will work. Right, we're one of these. This is, this is the one I broke last time I was here. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, you snapped one of the. He's like, you physically broke that one and Joe was like, what are you doing? So, that's not a good sign. What? What's you that? You can sort of hear it click. So you think it's staying open? It's possible. We're gonna rinse this out. Okay. So I believe if you blow in this one way, no, I think it's working. Is you can you can't blow into this piece. It stops it. The valve closes. But if you suck into it, it allows. It'll open it, yeah. Up. Yeah. So it's working. Sort of. It's kind of when you suck on it, you have to pull air pretty hard. Right. It's pretty pretty gross. Do you have a brake cleaner? Yeah. Joe's got all these. Yeah. I love how the things we need are just like placed conveniently away from everything else. Like the PB blaster was conveniently there and you can hear it shaking more now. Is that good? Yeah, it might have been pretty grimed up. I don't, I'm still weary if that was still the issue because uh, you were burning a lot of oil. Yeah, maybe it was, I mean, <coughs> yeah, that that was dumb. Yeah. I mean, so your car, do you think it has something to do with the fact that it's like legitimately just a pipe? That's so much better though. It, um, it, it's not getting stuck like it was. Usually you just replace these because they're only like $30. And it comes with all the factory hose and everything yeah. like that. So but I mean, this isn't in bad condition though, is it? Well, it's not a great condition either, but um, it should still work. Okay, so now we're putting the turbo back in the new one. Yeah, the most difficult thing in my opinion is getting this uh, oil dump, oil return, whatever you want to call it. Lined up down below. I'm gonna hold the flashlight. Yeah, for a second. I'll turn this around so I can screw it in from the back. So we managed to lose a pretty important stud, and now we're on the hunt. We're gonna find it. We're gonna find it somehow. Uh, but that's where we're at right now. Everything was gonna go back together pretty, hopefully smooth. That's a joke. Nothing ever goes as planned. No. So, we're on the hunt for the stud, and when we find it, the tur turb ski should be able to go back in. Okay, so we actually ended up needing to go grab a bolt because a stud kind of decided to uh, go missing, run away, whatever you want to say. Um, so it is now gone. So we are off to Napa now to uh, to go hopefully get another one. And what, we need one more for the... We need a bolt to take the place of a stud since the up pipe flange is threaded. And then we need to uh, grab a second bolt because the one stripped as we were unscrewing it because it was corroded so much. Yeah, that. So we're taking the rice rocket. The rice rocket. <laughs> Dude, drive a rice rocket. the SI. Which, which way? Uh, left. So. Tech, yo. That's it, that's all it's got. <laughs> VTech. Sorry, Honda guys, they're slow. <laughs> they really are. They really are.
Okay, so Napa was a humongous failure. They're actually closed, so nothing was actually accomplished. Whoa, we missed the no, gear. Oh, 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 oh. Lame. So we actually ended up going to Lowe's and they actually had what we needed. It was a larger ordeal than it needed to be. Everything we do is a larger ordeal than it needs to be. Yeah. We're the only people that takes five hours to swap a turbo. That's why this is edited. It took 30 minutes for yeah, sure. 30 minutes. It's been done for hours. So dude, um, when we turbo swap in this thing? It's never gonna be turbo swap. Why bro? We're gonna sell it. Are ya? Why? Yeah, why? Because this is get the gas mileage I was hoping it would get. Buy a Prius. You're right. I'm kind of complaining about the gas mileage on that side, like I expected something, but... It's a Honda. Yeah. I expected Honda gas mileage. But you didn't get nah, it. I, didn't, I don't get what I want. Neither do I. I'm probably so, pulling a motor. No, you're not. Is it just gonna, are we just gonna keep dumping Brotella in it until... Well, unfortunately, there's not that Brotella in the world for you to keep driving it, so... How many? 15 minutes. I can do this. Let's get this threaded to the bottom of the up pipe. It's a stud now. Look at that. Watch it not fit. Let's go. 15 minutes. <laughs> 15 minutes to thread this bolt in, Wesley. So you need to get into the car and do uh, the bottom one then. I'm gonna go ahead and do these top ones. Did you get that bolt from the car? Cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Any more? Yeah, you're fine then. So. That gas gets sketchy. I don't know how it's sealed before, honestly. I'll probably just order another one. I mean. Yeah, get, um, I think they're like $8 off eBay. Uh, Mizimoto or whatever it's called has them. But we're done here. Okay. Um, we're done here, wow. Okay guys, so pretty much in a nutshell, we got the new turbo in place and everything's hooked up and it would be ready to go, but unfortunately, this happened. So on our upper coolant reservoir, um, the little piece coming off of it snapped and now we either, I'm going to call a local shop and see if they have anything for me, um, a new one of these, or or I might actually uh, try to fix it. It's just a problem because now I can't test the car and see whether the turbo was the issue. Uh, the turbo went in, no problems. I mean, a couple hiccups here and there, but you know, <laughs> when don't you have hiccups uh, when doing something like this? So I mean, there's gonna be another video, obviously, when I start the car and when, the he when my headlights come back after being restored and redone with halos and things like that. Um, right now, the car's blind. So, once that comes back, you know, the car should be good. Uh, I might just even upgrade the coolant reservoir to a better one. And that way, you know, it'll, you know, it'll, run, it'll just never happen again, so. Well, I really do appreciate you guys watching this video. It was definitely, it's probably gonna be a little longer. Hopefully I, I'm gonna, you know, edit a few things out and make it entertaining the best of my abilities. Uh, so like I said, I really appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully it was sorta, of, it may have even been helpful, I doubt it, but 
Uh, if you guys feel like doing so, please subscribe. You know, more videos are gonna be coming and more things are gonna be done to the car. Might be pulling an engine, who knows? Um, but I'd really, really like it if you guys would just hit the like button. It doesn't take very long. It's really easy to do. And thanks for watching. Have a good one.